It works. There's my little board. Don't know where I'll fit it exactly. But I've got it's not a very good sire job either, but it works. And everything is separated relatively well. I don't know if you can see that from the camera. But it's separated well. And everything is soldered down properly now because I used plenty of flux and I checked the connections. So, let's see. Can I get this in view? Maybe. There we go. This is Ultraman 2 for no real reason other than that's one of the games I got. I haven't fixed my adapter yet. Oh, sound wire's loose, I'm sorry. I didn't ever solder that one in. So, I've been making do. So I'm not as lazy. I don't know if you can tell about the jail bars, really. They're barely visible. It's like an NES visibility. And the wire for audio came loose again. It should be blue, not purple. So anyway, yeah, the Famicom works, this one at least, and uh, I'm still mad about frying the other, but I'll fix it someday. It's using the uh, AV connector that I built for my VIC-20, which I have sitting around here somewhere, and that right there is a mini DIN connector, a 6-pin, because it will fit inside of the spot where an ARF module would be. But since last time I removed the RF module, I ended up breaking something when I tried to power it. I'm just going to leave that in there, and I am screwed on where I'm going to put this in. So if you have any suggestions, uh, please let me know. But for now, I think I'm just going to try to shrink down that little board. Because right now, it's bigger than it has to be, and if I were to get it small enough, I think it could fit right in there. Hopefully. Maybe. I'm not sure or on top of this stuff, but I prefer not to because that's kind of close to hitting other contacts. And anytime I risk something, I end up screwing it up. I'm going to remove that audio connector there. It looks like it's messing with focus a bit. No, it's just my stupid camera. Okay. So, I'll zoom out a bit. There you go. Yeah. Anyway, 
so it works now. I'm pretty happy with it. I mean, this one at least had video taps on the bottom. I'm going to turn this off and show. Uh, unplugging it first. There we go. Let me power on and off because I know the NES and maybe the Famicom will have a little bit of energy left. I don't want to take any chances whatsoever. Okay, now. We have that stupid controller for it. There we go. Pulling out the cartridge as best I can. There we go. So, I'm on board. And I'm going to zoom this out again. Flip. This is the Revision 7 non GPM board. I don't know if you can see it in this terrible lighting, but yeah, there's where I did everything. Uh, there's where 5 volts is. Stupid focus. Out of the way. There's 5 volts. Uh, that right there, with the silverish wire, is the audio connector on pin 46 of the cartridge connector. This orange wire is going to pin 21 or 22, can't remember what the number was, but in any case, yeah, it was 21 because there are 20 on each side. Uh, yeah, this is pin 21 on the PPU. And I cut the trace between the video out. Stupid camera. Motherfucking camera. Okay. I cut the trace. It's a very fine cut between the video tap up here and, the, well, not between the video tap. The tap is on the other side of the transistor. But between the middle transistor pin and the PPU pin and I had an extra transistor because of the one that I pulled off of the any of the Famicom I broke 